Mystery with history. What happened to the Carol Deering? So here I am sitting on Ocracoke Island and I want to tell you about a very interesting shipwreck called the Carol Deering. So the Carol Deering was a schooner. It was a five-mast schooner. It's one of the most written about maritime mysteries in history. People talk about all different things that kind of happen. The Bermuda Triangle gets brought up a lot. Um, mutiny, of course. The building company, Deering, his son's name was Carol Deering. So that's where it gets its name from. And like I said, it was built in Bath, Maine. It was laid down in 1918. It was launched in 1919. And then it's runs aground January 31st, 1921. So he had left Norfolk with coal for Rio de Janeiro, went down to Rio de Janeiro. It's, captain had gotten sick, so it had gotten another captain, made its stop in Rio de Janeiro, offloaded the coal, and was on its way back to Norfolk. And the ship ran aground right off the coast of Hatteras, North Carolina, off the Diamond Shoals there under full sail, but its anchors were missing. Goodness, this ghost ship is giving me the chills. And high seas prevented rescuers from getting out there, approaching the ship for four days, so they get out there to February 4th. But when they got out there, they found her abandoned. The ship was abandoned. For a ghost ship, there sure aren't many ghosts around. But what's interesting about it is like, there was a cat, there was some cats on board, they had survived, the wheel had been busted up, like someone didn't want you driving the ship. Personal belongings were all gone, lifeboats were gone. But it looked like someone was getting ready to make a meal, like they were getting ready to make foodstuffs, you know, for the next meal and they left in haste. So the whole crew was gone. I think it was just men. Most of them were from like Scandinavia. They had a new captain, remember? No trace of the crew has ever been found. So the ship ran aground. It took four days for them to get out to it because it was over here in some shoals. The ship was fine. It was maneuverable. Nothing was wrong with it. The anchors were missing and personal belongings were gone and no one ever found the crew, ever, ever. The ship sat there for a while, and then it was eventually, I think in March, they, they blew it up because it was, uh, it was dangerous for other sailors out there to have the ship just hanging out there. Nobody to this day has ever found out what happened to the Carol Deering and its crew. It remains one of the greatest shipbound mysteries, right? So there's a couple like ships that are notorious for being mysterious, right? The Flying Dutchman. But the Carol Deering is one of those ships. No one ever found out what happened to the crew, where they went, if they survived, and why they left. And that happened right off the coast here. Woo! Come on, <laughs> follow that ghost ship. There was some investigation done, but since they kind of like blew it up, there wasn't much you could get from it. There's some artifacts of the Deering. So this is how I kind of learned about the Deering. There's some artifacts of the Deering at the graveyard of the Atlantic at that museum. So when I walked in, they had some stuff from the ship. They had like water basins for the, you know, like the crew to wash their face and stuff. And some of their cutlery and, cause all that stuff was left on the ship. And so they salvaged all that before they blew it up. So what do you think happened to the Carol Deering? Do you think, you know, there's some talk of mutiny? They did have, because the crew, as they were traveling back from Rio de Janeiro, I mean, they ported in places. And there is testimony of, like, the first officer not liking the captain and saying, this will be the last time he sails. I mean, the captain's old. He's like 71 years old. He's an old captain. They just got him to do it because the other captain got sick. And they knew this captain and he could he could sail and he's like i'll do it i'll take the shipment into rio de janeiro but who knew how like set in his ways he was or something who knows right so i don't know mutiny but was it enough to like <laughs> sabotage your ship and leave your ship i don't know could it have been like a sickness on board and then everybody left could it have been you know 
they ran into a life-saving vessel and the vessel, they told them that they had lost their anchor. So losing your anchor is okay. You would be drifting if you couldn't stay under sail or something like that, right? No one knows exactly what happened. There's been speculation and people, there was one big hoax where somebody found a message in a bottle, but that was a, that was a hoax. And the person who hoaxed it, who made it up, went with mutiny as their reason. And it was during a, I mean, imagine if the ship crashed January 31st and they couldn't get to it till February 4th, that was pretty bad. Um, storm. I mean, that's a pretty bad storm that you can't get back in a lifeboat. Can you imagine? So there was speculation that another ship might have rescued them. And then that ship was lost in the storm. Wouldn't that be terrible luck? The Carol Deering will re forever remain one of those mysterious maritime mysteries. And it happened to Alpha here, off the coast of North Carolina. If you know of any other maritime mysteries, let me know. And uh, what do you think happened to the Carol Deering? On to my next mystery with the history. <laughs>